hello everybody and today we're working with Finn. Finn is a weanling Westphalian warm blood stallion. He's about six months old and he was recently weaned from his dam. Now he's been out at the ranch for a little while now and we've let him calm down but he had no interest in letting us catch him out in the big pasture so we've moved him over to a smaller pen so I can work on developing a relationship with him and hopefully get a halter on him so we can handle him and we can work with him. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can develop a relationship with Finn and hopefully he'll let me put a halter on him. Now, he's, he's halter broke, but that was in a different environment. Every time that they caught him, he was always in a small box cell. Now he's in a much larger place. We're about in a 50 by 50 pen. And I'm just gonna see how well he'll respond to me. I've gotta develop a relationship and that comes slowly. So I've separated him from his little donkey friend. He's over here by himself and hopefully I can get him to bond to me. Let him run around a little bit. Let him get some energy out. Hopefully he won't hurt himself. He's got kind of a nice little round route. And it may take a while until he's ready to calm down and just let me touch him. But for right now, I'm just going to let him run around and let him get used to me being here. I may sit down here in the pen for a little while and just let him get used to me. Because as you can see right now, he's not really in the mood to be caught. But we've got to change that. So basically what it's ended up being is me just hanging out here, just waiting for him to come on up to me. So I've kind of picked myself out a little space in the center of the arena, or in the pen. Just kind of chilling out, getting lower. And he'll eventually come on up to me. He's been coming up for a little bit. He gets close and then he'll move off again. So it's all just kind of a waiting game from here. He's getting a little braver. He's starting to walk around a little bit more. He came up and looked at me, came real close just a few minutes ago. And now he's off walking around again, not showing any interest. So we're going to start all over. Get a little closer. Come on. Oh, I got yummy treats here. A little bit closer each time. He's calmed down a great deal. It's just a slow process letting him come to me. He's getting closer. Hi. Slowly but surely, he's getting to the point where he's letting me get closer to him. Just by sitting down, chilling out. There we go. Good boy. He's letting me touch him. Hopefully we'll let we'll get a little bit closer. But if you do just sit out in the pen and wait, they will eventually come up to you. But it may take hours. Right little dude? Right, you just want to play with my hat, don't you? Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, well this is part of developing the relationship, so it's really cool. We're getting closer and closer and closer each time. He's coming in to me a little bit more.
I got him coming up to me. I got a little feed in my pocket, so I'm giving it to him. It's a slow process. Some of them are quicker than others. But remember, they've got to trust you. And you have to establish trust. And that means being really patient and not getting close. And letting the horse tell you when they're ready to come on and be your friend. Start working. Actually, it's just a little bit of his feed. I know he likes it. I know it's not going to hurt him to have some. But we're working on it. We're establishing our relationship. He's finally letting me touch him a little bit. See, even though he was halter trained, he was halter trained with other people. That doesn't mean he's going to be cool around everybody. And I didn't really see what they did. So. with young horses is a slow process. You have to let them come to you. And you can't be frustrated or go on any kind of time limit. The horse is going to tell you when they're ready to go. And it may take a few minutes. It may take a few hours. But you're slowly going to develop a relationship with that horse, especially one that hasn't been handled very much, to the point where they'll actually let you touch him. There you go. Come up to him. Let me touch him got a pocket full of treats, which is actually just his regular feed. Just feeding him and feeding him. 
I want him to associate being with me and being around humans as being a positive experience. Because I've eventually got to get a halter on him. And he's going to let me know when he's ready to do this. But right now, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So let me see if he'll follow me around. And join up with me. Because that's his way of saying, okay, I'll follow you. I'll do what you want. Give me some more treats. Eventually, I'm going to pull him into thinking. pressure and walk forward. And every time I do that, he realizes I'm not pushing. Now he's smelling my pocket so he knows where the treats are. Urging him to walk forward, let me touch him. Wow. Follow me some more. like the carrot and the stick. As he starts backing off, I'll back off again. I'm going to try to get him focused in front of me here. There you go. So I come back over here with my hand. Now I've known that he already knows some of this. Getting him to do it with me is totally different. what I'm up to. <laughs> Can't lie to a horse. They know what you're up to. Okay, we've got the halter and I've got him following me. I've got him coming up to me. Kind of likes the, kinda likes the treats. He still doesn't quite trust me. I'm still trying to touch him with everything. There we go. Just trying to get the lead rope around.
that it just takes time. He's decided he wants to treat Simple a lot more than he wants to run away. Coming forward. Pixar. So thank you for watching today's video, and remember, if you'd like to see more, please click on the playlist, and don't forget, like and subscribe.